Hello and welcome to my series Super Gene Travels. We'll be undertaking this during the coming weeks, look at different brands and distilleries in Ireland. First out is Boiljak Distillery, that's located in a small cottage in County Donegal. And I um, just want to say that the, the master distiller there, Michael O'Boyle, has been very kind to me. He offered me this very nice t-shirt and also three small samples of up and coming stuff and stuff already in production when I bought my first bottle from him. There is a, if you want to have more info on how you can get this stuff, just head over to my blog again or I will also link their Instagram page in my Instagram post so you can go from there and buy this uh, enormously fine beverage. First off the Mulroy Bay, the classic expression that they have, is distilled from uh, uh, distilled from malted barley and potatoes. Pretty unique, actually. And just need to say that this is 60.1% ABV. I offered this to a friend today when we were out shooting pictures, like I always do, because I'm a I'm a beverage nerd, if you want to call it like that. And he couldn't pick up the ABV from this and. I can tell you the same thing, 60.1 is no chance that I would have guessed this. It's pretty strong stuff, so if you <laughs> if you enjoy this, don't drive on it and be a bit careful because it will make you hammered if you drink too much. So, I mean, on the nose it's like sweetness, it has a lot of floral notes going for it and it's a very, very enjoyable drink. It has a long and lasting finish. I mean, it's almost like white fruits or something like that on the palate. And for the first expression from, from this distillery, I was so stunned. I'm going to get more bottles. If you're not a pachin drinker, shame on you. But they also offer gin. I haven't tried that. And I think they have something cooking. Uh, because... What you have to know is that pachin, that's uh, that's the stale pachin after production, is only allowed to, to be rested in wooden cask or something like that for uh, not exceeding 10 weeks. So it's not a whiskey. I mean, a whiskey have a minimum of three years to be called a whiskey. And pachin has a maximum time, uh, which I can think is pretty stupid because it's uh, from the start, it's an, uh, like an illicit spirit that had uh, that you distilled from whatever you had. And now you have a technical fight state something. So I have a problem with the maturation time. I mean, what the hell? Let the Stilix experiment however they want. That's my opinion. But you can still season it with different styles. I mean, you can season it with like four boy left distilleries here. The, for example, one of the samples I received, Portwood. So it's port casks. And I mean, this is also simply stunning stuff. It's the same thing. It picks up so much in such a short time from uh, from from the port. It has these lovely soft notes. Uh, fine port wine always does that to the still beverage. It, it 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 smooths the surface a lot, and the rough edges they just like vanish. This is this is uh, although a more um, a more reasonable ABV. It's forty two point six, and I mean it's it's over forty. You can't even notice it. So I think that's uh, available on their site as well. And the crasher for me that I, I couldn't buy it because it wasn't available um, is the Pete and Port. This stuff is crazy. It's sixty three point seven ABV, and I mean if you like. The still beverage, if you, if you like whiskey, I mean, ooh, this is really, really, really something. It has a burn to it, of course, it, it's pretty strong beverage, but it's still, it's very soft on the palate. You can pick up the, the peat notes and you can pick up, uh, I mean, the port probably smooths it over, but I mean, you still have the, the smoke and you have the peat notes. And like uh, Brandon Carter from Killowen Distillery explained it some, uh, peat is turf, for those who don't know what that is. If you find this, if they if it's made available, if if Michael O'Boyle from the Boyle Distillery 
can make some more, you should and you must buy it, I would say. It's, it's uh, simply stunning. The last thing I got from him is, uh, is actually a pot still. It's called a Sun. It's a peated and uh, it has it contains of 30% unmalted barley, which leads me to believe that 70% would be unmalted barley. It's ba it's barreled. It's barreled on uh, well on uh, December 14th in, in, in 2020. So if you're intelligent and wise, like many of my viewers are, if I have any. You can probably understand that this is uh, something that's cooking to be a whiskey. So they, they have something going for them. So this is the only... Uh, it's, it's between Pacino and whiskey. And already now, you can really sense that this is going to be something really good. And probably, probably it is because uh, you have a small still, you have a small pot that you, that you distill it in and... Uh, it maximizes the spirit contact with the with the copper, and I would say that uh, you can really get more flavors if you have smaller stills than than these massive big ones that you find in, um, I mean, whiskey distillers that mm, punch out so much, so many bottles that that the big that the big brands does. So, uh, Michael O'Boyle, uh, master distiller, uh, seemingly a very good guy, and. Uh, Head over to the web page and you can check out what they offer. If not, just DM me and I'll. Uh, <laughs> I can always recommend something else if you don't like this and that, and we can talk about something. If you, oh no, if you uh, simply want to try other stuff or, I mean, whatever suits your country of residence. For example, in Sweden, I think you can only get hold of. Um, the the teeling machine, which is also very good, and we'll be looking at that a bit later. Um, there's always possibilities to buy something from Irish Malls or IrishWhiskies.de or Celtic Whiskey Shop if you reside in Ireland or something like that. Yeah, anyways, next time we'll be looking at a different brand. We're looking at Cologne Distillery and that will be on Tuesday. I will upload a video on YouTube and Instagram. If you don't want to wait that long, you can head over to Irish Whiskey Reviews tonight and uh, they will post a video interview with Brandon Carty, the, the master, malt master at Cologne. I think that will be around uh, 10 Irish Standard Time BST or uh, 11 Central European Time. If you find uh, that you want to, to get some intel already on uh, what happens at Cologne with what they distill. I think they will mention Pachin. I'm not sure. Anyways, I will see you on Tuesday. And until then, there will also be a live stream with me and uh, Sarcastic Whiskey Wrench tomorrow at 7 IST, BST, or 8 um, Central European time in the evening. We'll be checking out Rightest Tears, uh, the two kernel, and I always forget the last one. Yeah, Tipperary, because we messed up our last, latest video upload. Yep, so have a nice day and really consider buying some Pachin.